Hi everybody, it's Miss Sherry and welcome to Make It. So what you're gonna get this week is a stack of 50 index cards. Some of you have done this activity before with me. Um, if you've been to Boys and Girls Club, I have done this with Boys and Girls Club a couple times. And towards the end of this video, we're going to put in some pictures of some of the stuff that different kids at Boys and Girls Club have made. So the point of this is to make the tallest structure that you can. So what we're gonna do is once I start building this, we're gonna do the time-lapse video and you're gonna watch me build it. Hopefully, I will be able to get it pretty tall. It's not going to be taller than me because I can't reach that high. But some of the pictures that, we, that you will see, some of the kids were able to get their structures taller than me. So what you're gonna get is the index cards. Now here's a couple of rules in order to make this work. No tape. You do not get to use any tape for these structures. And no leaning it against anything. You have to use the index cards and your imaginations. Now there are some things that you can do. You can fold the index cards. So I've done this activity, um, like I said, at Boys and Girls Club in a couple different locations. So a lot of my cards have already been folded for me because um, these are the ones that I take around. Um, you guys are gonna get a fresh set of index cards that have never been used before, okay? Um, but you do wanna keep some that have not been folded. So I will give you that. The, let me give you a hint to this activity. You want to make sure you build a really, really strong base, okay? There's so many different ways that you can do this. I've seen a lot of different structures. Um, some of you have done this with me um, at Science Night at Rupert Elementary. Um, this is a really fun activity, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and start building. You're gonna see this on time-lapse. I want you guys to try doing this many, many different ways. If you've got a friend or a sibling that also got some index cards, you can also use um, like a deck of cards, but if you're gonna use a deck of cards from home, please ask your grown-up ahead of time before you bend the cards, because we don't want your grown-ups getting mad at Miss Sherry. Ahead, you know, just saying, ask for permission first. But you can also go to the store and pick up some more index cards. It doesn't matter what color they are. You can decorate them. You can do whatever you want with these. This is just regular, plain old index cards that we got in some of the back to school sales. Okay, so I'm going to start building my structure. Let's see how tall Miss Sherry can get it before it starts to fall over. Now my table is a little bit bent, so let's see if I can get it to where it's taller than me before it falls over. Are you ready? Okay, here we go. it toppled and part of it is because my table is not completely level so as you were watching it being built it was kind of like um, the Leaning Tower of Pisa where it's like slowly tilting so when I got tall enough it was not going to stay standing but I have seen some that get really really tall taller than me and I'm five foot two so the best thing to do is to make sure like I said you have a very strong base and part of that is what you're building it on. So my table is not the best example of that. So build it on the floor. Make sure it's a solid floor, like a wooden floor or a concrete floor, maybe a tile floor, something solid that is not going to be crooked, okay? So, but it's a lot of fun, keep building. You can also maybe do like a single story house with a bunch of different rooms or, you guys, there's so many different things that you can do to be creative with this. I'm using our old library cards. You guys don't even know what that is because everything's all digital. But this is a really fun activity, like I said. Um, just keep building, have fun, and I will see you next time at Make It. Bye, everybody.